Hi, I'm Josh Van Loot, the AFL's National Development Manager, and I'm here to talk about modified tackling in junior football. In 2014, the AFL released its Junior Football Match Guide, aimed at providing leagues and their clubs with some clear direction as to the most appropriate rules for young players. A key part of this is ensuring a sequential approach to tackling and contact exists. Deferring the introduction of full tackling is based on the need to provide young players with the best possible conditions to learn, develop and improve their disposal skills. The physiological and emotional readiness of children to withstand the pressures of full tackling differ from person to person. But the age of readiness is generally recognised as being around 11 years of age. For this reason, we have Zach, Noah and Ben here to demonstrate the modified tackle for the under 9s and under 10s age group. Tackle, roll up, roll up. A player in possession of the ball may be tackled by an opponent wrapping both arms around the area below the top of the shoulder and above the knees. The tackle can come from the side or behind, providing the player is not pushed in the back. If the player in possession is taken to the ground in the act of tackling, they will receive a free kick. Illegal tackle, free kick, you can't drag the player to the ground. If the umpire feels the player in possession of the ball drops to the ground deliberately to receive a free kick, they will be penalised for holding the ball. Free kick, holding the ball, you've deliberately gone to ground. When a player in possession of the ball is tackled, they should be given a reasonable chance to dispose of the ball by foot or by hand. Play on, got rid of it, play on. Otherwise, a free kick will be awarded for holding the ball. Free kick, holding the ball. The field umpire shall conduct a ball up when the ball cannot be disposed of and the player didn't have a reasonable amount of time to do so. Great tackle, my ball. The field umpire shall allow play to continue if the ball is accidentally knocked out of a player's hands by an opponent. Knocked out, play on! At this age level, incidental contact is permitted. However, there is strictly no bumping, slinging or deliberately bringing an opposition player to the ground when they have possession. Illegal tackle. You cannot sling the player. As mentioned, these rules are in place for kids still learning the game. By progressing from a non-contact experience at NAB AFL Oski through to a modified tackle and then full tackle at under 11s, we're giving the next generation of players the best chance to develop their skills and enjoy their progression in the game.